Good morning, everybody. Um, yesterday I was 75. I turned 75 yesterday, 11, 15, 12, 15 a.m. I missed July by 15 minutes. <laughs> but now um, I'm almost 76. <laughs> I can say I'm past 75. I'm almost 76 now. So anyway, I'm in my Sarah Young, and it says, bring me the sacrifice of your time. You know, he doesn't ask for much. I, I, I get all dressed and get up and get dressed and get flash fed and all this stuff come down here. And, and, uh, or if I go to my room and, um, I, I just may spend 10 minutes with him and he just downloads. It doesn't take much, you know, cause we can't only handle so much, right? <laughs> I can only handle 10 minutes of information and download. And so that's why I try to do these videos less than 10 minutes. Cause it's only, if it's fair for, it's what all I can handle then it's, only fair to not give you more than what you can handle, right? So anyway, um, I had a great birthday and wonderful blessings and stuff. But one of my favorite ones, and I love you guys. I'm not trying to, <laughs> I don't have favorites really. But if you have a birthday coming up, make sure you make friends with Beverly Banta. And I'm just talking to ladies right now because she'll call you princess. <laughs> she'll say happy birthday, princess. <laughs> and... You know, I know she says that to everybody, but I'm telling you, you know, when she says it to me, I just take it to heart and it just feels so good. You never know what you're going to, little words will say, will just speak to people and really encourage them. And, you know, that's what Jesus is all about is trying to, um, trying to encourage you, make you more like him, you know. And so I'm looking at, um, Sarah Young took me to John 7, 37, but I'm looking at, I stopped at, uh, at 29. It says, but I know him for I am from him and he sent me. Of course, this is Jesus talking, you know. But if you kind of turn it around and if you, once you realize that <clears throat> you are from him and he has sent you, then you know him. You got to realize who he is and where he came from in order to know who you are and to know that that's where you came from. And you were created for such a time as this and for a purpose and, and out of love. <laughs> so um, keep that in your heart today. But another thing I was thinking about this morning was missions. And, um, you know, I get, I don't know if the word is jealous, but I see all these people going on mission field, you know, and they're uh, seeing signs and wonders and miracles and healings and all this stuff. And and it seems like they just come back and, and then nothing, you know. Yeah, we see a lot of, I mean, Lord has shown me lots of good things and miracles and all this stuff, you know, but nothing like when they come back from the mission field. And I think, what are we missing here? And it says here from John seven thirty seven. it says, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me. And so I heard it in my, I don't know if I heard it somewhere, but, um, you know, it's like, when we're studying the Old Testament, I was saying in my previous videos that when um, when God took the Hebrews to another land, he waited until they were hungry. He didn't, there wasn't food, just there wasn't a table and a spread set for them. He led them to a desert and they looked around, they saw nothing. <laughs> no food, no water, you know, and they got thirsty. The Bible says they were hungry and they were thirsty. And then, you know, of course they started grumbling and all this stuff, you know, but until they became hungry and thirsty, that's when they fed him. So I think, and I think somebody told me this the other day, that um, we don't see so many things because we don't come thirsty and hungry. We have so much, we have plenty and we, we don't need it. None of us, most of us, some do, but most of us don't do without. And so we have to, what does it take to be hungry and thirsty? I guess we need to know that um, we're deficit of food and water and in the spirit. I don't mean in the physical way, but we really are deficit of any nourishment in the spirit. And so um, we just have to continue. It's a process. You know, I talked about before, it's a process. And, you, you know, you move forward, you move forward, and every day you get up and every day you say, this is a good day and think about what you're going to do you know, for somebody else. What are you going to do? What? Okay, Lord, what have you got for me today, you know, to do today for somebody? Because your life is just like Jesus' life. He, he came for us, you know. He didn't come to have himself a good time. <laughs> he, 
he probably did. I think he had fun. You know, if you look back here, he got his smile. I'm sure he had a good time with his disciples and stuff, but I'm sure they had some hard times. And so, uh, in fact, I was talking to Brother James the other day in our church, and and uh, he's an elder in our church, and he says, uh, <laughs> I've learned all my lessons in my, in my difficult times and my challenges. When everything is cool and everything's right and everything's good, you know, you, you get complacent. The Bible says you get complacent. And so we don't learn. I mean, there, God wants us to have good times and be at peace and all that, you know. But, okay, my bird wants to come. <laughs> That's Pete. That's Petey, my parakeet. <laughs> I guess he's got something to add to this. But anyway, um, it's, it's during the hard times, during the difficult times, during things of times of change. You know, God will just take where you're at and that and there'll be a change in your life there's a change coming to my workplace and it's gonna be a major change and we're like well you know by the end of the year so we don't know what's going to happen we have to trust the lord and so that's when we get to trust the lord so anyway the answer is and this is what i'm talking to my grandson about and it's like what's the answer to life you know and for some reason we came up with the answer is be be kind be kind all you got to do, you know, because not everybody's kind to you, you know, not everybody can be kind to you, but if, and sometimes, so then consequently, we, we you know, we fight back, you know, we don't want to be kind back, you know, and so, but the answer is be kind, and if you just think about how you're going to be kind to somebody, and call somebody princess today, <laughs> say hello, princess. <laughs> And so I love you guys, you know, and I love Beverly. I love all you, all my friends and all my family, you know. That, um, but, you know, some of them are, everybody has a different gift. That's Beverly's gift. She just loves to call her. She just, I think she sees everybody as a princess, you know. Kind of makes her a princess too, or even a queen, you know. I love her, Beverly. I love Beverly. I love all you guys. But you know what? Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.